Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm feeling quite a bit better. This week has been a, a better week, so exciting improvement. Um, over the weekend I managed to get over and visit Eric and we cut some stuff open. I had some larger ones sitting around that were from all kinds of things and he helped me get them cut open and he even took and polished one. So I'm excited to show you what, what I came back with, what we got cut open, some neat stuff. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, here we go. First one, we've got one of the septarians from his claim that I collected last year that I haven't cut yet. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, these septarians from his claim, they're pretty good. I mean, they're not as good as some of the stuff you get from Southern Utah, Orderville, but still they're, they're nice things. Next up, we've got one of those Jasper nodules that come from the, the San Rafael Swell. This is one of the larger ones I still haven't cut open. Ooh. Now look at all those bladed crystals in there. Those are gonna be celestite. Look at that. <laughs> it's really cool. All going through that. Very nice. Here we have a, another septarian from his claim. Oh, not as much in that one. <laughs> Just a few little cracks. Yeah, not a whole lot there. They can't all be winners. Here's a Dugway geode I had sitting around I still hadn't cut open. And yeah, does not disappoint. Look at that. Good old classic Dugway geode. Beautiful. Just wanted to quickly show you this. Eric gave this to me. It's a rock that's got a bunch of malachite growing through it, probably from an old mine somewhere in southern Utah. But yeah, those are nice little zone, you know, little spots where the malachite just grew into whatever space it could find. Pretty cool stuff. Here we have another Jasper nodule from the San Rafael Swell. And ah nice. It filled in with blue celestite. You can see that blue and I can feel the weight. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I've got a lot of winners in this one. So this has been sitting around in my stuff for a long time. This is some clay canyon material. I used to be able to go dig here years ago and and after somebody messed it up for everybody, <laughs> claim owner wouldn't let a, people go out there anymore. But it's where you get like the green verisite and other cool things. But most of the time you get this yellow crandallite. And this one I had never cut open and Ah, no green or blue. Just crandallite. But even the crandallite can be really pretty. So you can see crandallite going all through it. And then right here you got a little vein where there was calcite. Nice. Here we have another nodule from the San Rafael Swell. If you remember, this is the day I was driving up to, to a wedding reception. And we stopped at a place. My wife came out with me for a little bit. And this is that nice one that was sitting off on the riverbank and oh yeah look at that look at the red in that oh, that one's beautiful oh that's a really good one <laughs> I guess you could it's like a red moss going through it very cool so here's some Jasper that I got a long time ago. I'm trying to remember where I got this from. Or maybe this was on the, this is what, maybe this is the, now that I think about it, maybe this is the uh, Jasper stuff that we find out in Utah by the, uh, the Chimney Rock area. Might also have been from Southern Utah a long time ago when I was down there. I don't remember for sure. Anyway, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I wish I could remember exactly where I got this one from. It's been a little too long. Oh, that's a nice one, though. Sweet. Here's another Dugway geode I hadn't cut open yet. Yes. Again. Really nice. Good old Dugway. Beautiful. Here's another San Rafael swell. It, it, was, it was already broken like this, and he helped cut the end off of it. 
part down here broke, but this part up here stayed intact. That's nice too. Take a look at this side more. So that's the full length. So down here you got the red jasper mixed in with some of the calcite and probably celestite. But up here it's really nice. Cool. Here's another Dugway geode. It's a double. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay, here's the one side. Nice. Here's the other side. Very nice. That's another really good Dugway geode. So here is some of that red agate that I found about two years ago with my dad when I was out on the northern, northern part, a little further north on the San Rafael Swell. And so uh, Eric helped cut it. He, I gave him the piece on this side because I thought he'd appreciate that. He, he hasn't been out here. He didn't have any of the stuff. And here's what it looks like inside. Really nice stuff. And I wonder if we could cover this so you can see the light coming through it. Yeah, you can see some light coming through there. Look at that. Really cool red agates. So here's a big septarian, larger one anyway, that I had collected last year from, from Eric's claim. And he went ahead and polished it for me. So here it is all polished up. That's a nice one, isn't it? Here's the other side of it. So that's mostly calcite in there, but there might be some barite. There's usually a little bit of barite in these. Really nice. All right, and last but not least, Eric gave me a sl large slab of agate and jasper that he got from Southern Utah, of, I don't know how long ago. And he just gave me this piece and I thought I'd share it with you. It's really cool. That's a really neat big slab. Just beautiful. Thank you so much, Eric. This is awesome. There you have it. Wow, those were some good ones, weren't they? Some really good specimens from the San Rafael Swell, from his claim, geodes, a bunch of other things. Ah, it's always exciting to cut things open and just see what's in them. And it's always, always wonderful to see that most of them ended up being really good stuff. Oh, and it's just wonderful to be feeling better. So, unfortunately, it's still gonna be a while before I can go out and rock hound. I, I'm not well enough for that yet, but it will come. Hopefully in a, less than a month, <laughs> I hope. Uh, anyway, you know, just looking forward to it. And until next time, remember there is treasure everywhere.